Hello, BI109 John X class. This week, um, we're going to be studying, continue the book of John. Uh, so make sure in your Bibles, in your Bibles, make sure you read St. John chapter 5, verses 1 through St. John 12, verse 36. And this week, a lot of reading. And also in this book, this book right here, which is N.T. Wright's uh, chapters 1 through 10. You'll finish this, pages 54 through 161 in this book. And in this book right here, which is your, um, your N.T. Wright part 2, chapters 11 through 12. You'll read verses, uh, pages 1 through 33. So this week you have a lot of reading to do. Uh, 100 and goodness. 140, almost like 100, about 140 pages. So a lot of reading, a lot of uh, discussion. In this path, in this uh, this week's lesson teachings, remember last week you had your uh, your list of events that should have been completed. Make sure you put them in the Dropbox. Make sure there's 30 events. Make sure there's uh, at least one page, put your name on it. And also make sure you can, if you can put the dates. I've graded some of them, I've turned some of them back, I made comments, make sure you get those in. We wanna make, uh, we wanna make a habit of getting our assignments in on time, okay? So get the list of events in. If you have not put them in, it has to be at least 30 events, one page, name on the top, and the dates if possible. This week you're gonna do chapters five through chapters 12 of, of the book of John. Chapter five, man at the pool of Bethesda. He was uh, sick for a long time, 38 years. He had an infirmity for 38 years. The Lord moved upon him, he walked. Pool of Bethesda, key, write this down, house of mercy. Pool of Bethesda, house of mercy. You will also find out in chapter 6 is the feeding of 5,000, how the Lord fed 5,000 people. Chapter 6 also talks about verse 15 through 21, how Jesus walks on the sea. He talks about as the bread, he's the bread of heaven. So if there's a theme of chapter 6, it'd be he's the bread of heaven. Um, he's rejected by his own. Uh, there's a heavenly scholar, chapter 7. He talks about the promise of the Holy Spirit. In, uh, in chapter 8, he refers to that the adulteress faces the light of the world and how she comes to the Lord, um, faces him, and she says, that you, know, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Um, he talks about Abraham's seed and Satan's seed. Um, in, chap in chapter 9, a man born receives uh born blind receives sight and how the lord healed him chapter 10 he there's a there's a theme of it chapter 10 is he's the good shepherd <laughs> i love that chapter chapter 11 jesus rises lazarus from the dead after he had been dead for four days powerful chapter in chapter 12 he's anointed the triumphant entry and uh, the fruit, unless a fruit dies, falls to the ground and dies, he will not grow, he will not live. And then he predicts his own death. So, chapter 5 through chapter 12 is known as the conflict. Miracles are happening. Fast motion, quick motion. It's leading up to the passion of Christ, the preparation of Christ. And then, of course, the sacrifice. So this week, as you are reading your books, uh, write volume 1. You should be completing that this week. Um, and you should start on uh, number two. Remember, this book, you should have it completed this week. This book right here, you should be reading the first 33 pages in this book. So, the conflict, miracles are happening. So, this week, this week's, uh, um, this week's homework, as you can say, this is something to work on, is a discussion board. Discussion board, 250 words. 250 words, are, your initial post is 250 words, due by Thursday night at 11.59 p.m. You need to reflect on the this week's reading, St. John chapter 5 through St. John chapter 12. 
and the textbook readings. What was your favorite miracle that Jesus performed? What new thing did you learn from it? So make sure you post that in the discussion board for week three, 250 words. Remember, it's due by Thursday night, and then you need to reply to at least two classmates, two classmates, 125 words each by Sunday night. So make sure you get those in. Great week talking about the miracle working power of the Lord. God bless you. We'll talk to you next week.